Creamer's newest Berettas. This snake bites, but is it poison or perfection? Let's get one and find out. The Beretta that was chosen for this video was the Snake Sabo Artist Collection Beretta. It was the only Beretta that had a dark wood fingerboard and reverse headstock. In this video, we'll take a look at the features of the Snake Sabo Beretta, unbox the newly purchased instrument, play it on an original song so we can hear its tones, and evaluate whether or not it's worth buying. Let's take a look at its specs. The Snake Sabo Beretta guitar body is made from alder, a relatively lightweight hardwood commonly used for guitars and basses. For the sake of simplification, the 648mm scale length of this Beretta is about 25 and a half inches. The Snake Sabo Beretta has 22 jumbo frets, similar in height to Jackson's jumbo frets. Advertised as the K-Speed Slim Taper neck profile, we can only speculate that the K in K-Speed is likely denoting the Kramer variation of the Gibson Slim Taper neck profile, which is not the same. This model's neck features a dark colored fingerboard that looks a lot like rosewood, but is actually Indian laurel wood, sometimes called Asian walnut. Dot inlay markers are standard and fairly visible. The bridge is a Floyd Rose 1000, D-Tuna, R2 Locknut, and LTR-L40 trim stop are standard equipment on this model. Black chrome hardware complements the green color of the body. The mini diecast tuners are similar to Schaller M6 mini tuners. The Kramer 85T humbucker pickup has an Alnico 5 magnet with 16.34k ohms of DC resistance, custom designed by Gibson Luther Jim DeCola. The volume and tone pots are high quality CTS brand potentiometers. This instrument comes with a Kramer branded gig bag. Let's unbox the snake and see if it bites. First thing noticed is the instrument box printing. For anyone who keeps the instrument boxes, you'll have no trouble identifying which instrument this belongs to. The gig bag feels tough and durable and looks nice. This is in line with how Gibson ships their products.
the included stickers and case candy were a nice touch. It just says, this is a brand and an instrument we want you to be proud to play. The guitar came shipped in tune and intonated. For the most part, the instrument came ready to use right out of the box. It was very impressive. The only thing that required adjustment was the D-Tuna. The Snake Beretta came with enough Floyd Rose parts to remove the D-Tuna should you choose to. To adjust the D-Tuna, we had to raise the fine tuner on the E-string all the way up, loosen the Allen screw with the provided wrench, and once the Allen screw is loosened but not removed, slide back to the point where it has no effect on the tuning. Tune the E-string to the D-Pitch, slide the D-Tuna back in place, and then tighten the Allen screw till the E-Node is in tune. So push the D-Tuna in for standard E-Tuning, pull the D-Tuna out for drop D-Tuning. Here's a sound demo to hear its tonal qualities in a mix. Each of the 10 categories are rated from 0 to 10 for 100 total possible points. Neck and fingerboard quality, 10 out of 10. Fret work, 10 out of 10. Inlay work, 10 out of 10. Body, materials and workmanship, 10 out of 10. Paint, polish and finish, 10 out of 10. Machine heads, 10 out of 10. Bridge, 10 out of 10. Electronics, 10 out of 10. Pickups, 10 out of 10. Miscellaneous hardware, 9 out of 10. Overall score, 99 out of 100. This is a very well-made instrument with no real factory flaws. The only reason for the one point off miscellaneous hardware was the volume control didn't turn without a little bit of a crunchy grinding feel, which will probably go away with time and use. The same goes for the Floyd Rose threads on the fine tuners. The three-piece maple K-Speed Slim Taper neck profile has a very unique feel. If you've played Gibson guitars, the Snake Sabo will have a somewhat familiar feeling neck. It's very comfortable, and the vintage Gibson-style volute sets the neck apart from Kramer's competitors. The 85T is a hot pickup with high output that sounds great with most types of amplification. In the sound demo, the sparkly clean sound was obtained by rolling the volume knob down to about 90% volume and played through a Rockman X100 on Clean 1. A Marshall DSL 100 was also used for the clean sound with 1960 cabinets on the classic gain channel with the gain turned down to about half. The 85T pickup was so hot that it sounded better with the Marshall gain on the high gain channel pulled back a little bit. The 85T's DC resistance is reported to be 16.34K ohms, which is great for heavy music, but the real versatility of its tone comes from the placement of the pickup. It's slightly further forward, which cuts the high end of the tone a little bit and adds a little mellowness. So is the snakebite poison? Well, you decide. This guitar could very well become one of your favorites. It's visually striking, well made, and plays and sounds great. If you've been bitten by the collection bug, the Kramer Snake Sabo Signature Beretta would make a nice colorful addition to your collection. You may find yourself wanting more like this. The snake has definitely bitten and we want more just like it.